I'm just starting off with some face paint I got from Michaels and this was like I don't know like four or five bucks and I'm using an eyeshadow brush just to create um, mimic like where I want the teeth to be and then I'm using a smaller eyeshadow brush for the outer teeth if that makes sense so I use a bigger eyeshadow brush for the inner teeth and then a smaller one for the outer so now I'm going in with the white paint from that palette and I'm just creating the teeth so this is like my first time literally my first time doing a skull look so basically what I'm doing is I'm going back and forth with the black and white face paint until I get some sort of look that looks more like teeth so yeah I'm just I'm going back in with the white after it dried a little bit and dragging the teeth down making it skinnier towards the ends and going back in with the black and shading that out so now I'm just taking the black paint the same black paint I used earlier to paint the whole sides of my face and I use my revolution the BX 35 brush to paint my face and I do this on both sides for the outline that I had that I have on before I put on the paint um, was just a black eyeliner pencil and then I smudged it with my finger but that clip somehow got lost so I wasn't able to show you guys how I did that but I just used a black eyeshadow pencil so I'm just basically looking at a picture of a skeleton on my phone and trying to mimic the neck part and somewhat of a collarbone and basically the same thing that I did with the teeth I go back in with the white and black until I get the look I want So as the base for the glitter, I'll be using my Unicorn Snot Glitter Gel and it's for your face and body. And I'm basically gonna put this everywhere. I wanna put my chunks of glitter. So this is the base, this is what the glitter, the chunks of glitter are gonna stick to. This glitter right here is from the Gypsy Shrine and this one's called Fortune Night, or Fortune Night. I don't know why I said Fortune. <laughs> but it's called fortune night and so basically I'm just taking my elf blush brush and just patting that everywhere the unicorn snot is gonna help the glitter that I, I'm applying now stick to my face so you guys don't have to worry about using like spirit gum or I don't know any other face adhesive now I'm just applying some face jewels by the same company the gypsy shrine and these already come in their own pattern so you just peel it off it's like a sticker and then you just place it where you want it to go super easy so now I'm going in with this beautiful palette by Queen's Life Cosmetics and I did not want to touch this palette for so long <laughs> I just wanted to have it and not touch it but anyway I'm filling in any sparse areas that I would have missed with the chunky glitter and just making sure everything looks well blended together So I was using the lighter shade purple for the sides of my face and for my nose I'm using that darker purple. For my lashes I will be using Unapologetic by the Stay Blowing Minds collection. And these lashes are bomb. Every time I wear these, I always get compliments on my lashes. And I've used them like five times now, and they still look as beautiful as they did day one. For my brows, I just use NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Amethyst. Now I'm just using some random natural lashes I had <laughs> laying around. I really don't remember where I got these or who they're by. But I figured they'd be perfect for my bottom lash. And now I'm using my BH Cosmetics Black Light 6 color highlighting palette and I'm using that for my brow bone and my inner corners of my eyes.
going back in with my black paint from my face paint palette I'm just creating more lines to make the vertebra look more realistic now I'm just adding that black paint underneath one eyebrow and over the other just to give my look more of a cartoon vibe slight slight cartoon vibe <laughs> And that's all folks. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let me know what you guys thought of this look in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Happy Halloween!